hello and happy day. Have you reminded yourself to slow down today? To reduce the noise? To listen? My name is Igor, SF Walker, and I am here to remind people to slow down, to reduce the noise, to walk their lives into a natural flow. Welcome back to the Book of the Week series. Every week, as I read another amazing title, I share it with the world. And today, we look at 30 Lessons for Living by Carl Pillemer. What credentials do the supposed gurus to the good life have? What entitles them to special authority when it comes to solving life's problems? And why, if we have so many professional advice givers, are so many people still so unhappy? The overflowing feast of advice seems to have left a lot of people pushing back from the table, hungry. It is my responsibility to be as happy as I can right here, today. So how do I do that? Where can we find the guidance we need to accomplish these goals in our lives? This book is predicated on one idea that the accumulated wisdom of elders, the true experts, can serve as an excellent guide for life of people of all ages. The experts possess deep knowledge of just about every problem a human being can experience in life. They lived it. So relationships. What do the experts, the elders, say? They keep it simple. Marry someone a lot like you. Friendship is as important as romantic love. Don't keep score. Talk to each other. Don't just commit to your partner. Commit to the relationship itself. You're much more likely to have a satisfying marriage for a lifetime when you and your mate are fundamentally similar. Most important, the experts believe that marriage is vastly more difficult with someone whose orientation and approach to life is different from yours. There are many ways partners can be similar, but the experts focus on one dimension in particular, similarity in core values. One sign of our workaholic culture in a given year, around 574 million vacation days go unused. That equals to 5,500 working lifetimes in a single year. Each year, the average worker spends over 1,800 hours on the job and sometimes longer working extra shifts or at a second job to make ends meet. Lesson here? Choose a career for the intrinsic rewards, not the financial ones. The view from the end of lifespan is straightforward. Time well and enjoyably spent trumps money any time. No one, not a single person out of a thousand interviewed, said that to be happy, you should try to work as hard as you can to make money to buy things you want. No one, not a single person, said it is important to be at least as wealthy as the people around you. And if you have more than they do, then that is real success. No one, not one, not a single person said you should choose your work based on your desired future earning power. No one. Do not give up on looking for a job that makes you happy. Make the most out of a bad job. Emotional intelligence trumps every other kind. And everyone needs autonomy. Now, what do the experts say about children? You guessed it. They keep it simple. It is all about time. It is normal to have favorites, but never show it. Do not hit your kids. Avoid a rift at all costs and take a lifelong view of a relationship with children. Happiness does not depend on how much we have, but it is based on personal success of skills and artistry, a sense of humor, the acquisition of knowledge, the refinement of character, the expression of gratitude, the satisfaction of helping others, the pleasure of friends, the comfort of family, and the joy of love. Being old is much better than you think. Act now like you will need your body for a hundred years. And don't worry about dying. The experts don't. Always be honest. Say yes to opportunities. Travel more. Time spent worrying is time wasted. Stop. Have faith. 
You are not responsible for all the things that happen to you, but you are completely in control of your attitude and your reactions to them. If you feel annoyance, fear or disappointments, these feelings are caused by you and must be dug out like weed. Study where they come from, accept them and then let them go. If you let outside pressures determine how you feel and what you do, you have just abdicated your job as CEO of your own life. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like it, share it with the world, subscribe to my channel, and you can find a direct link to this book in the description below. So get it and read. Thank you. Love and respect.